Alright, welcome back. In this video, what we'll try to do is we'll try to highlight the grid view though from the code behind. It means like this would be a normal structure, blue color header and all the data will be in light gray, right? When you move your mouse hover onto the row anywhere, that row gets highlighted to get a better presentation or better view. Now how can we do that uh, from the code behind in grid view, right? <coughs> so this is a normal database structure we have right now. So right now if you see I got TBL employee, I got ID, I got name, expert and level. So this is my simple database, right? And besides you can see my data which is very much present at right now, right? So this is the data I have. So I'm going to shut down the data and now let's look at the structure basically what i have is i only have a grid view right and everything is in the code behind everything what are we going to do is from the code behind so there is nothing up there right <coughs> so let's see in the code behind what i need to do is now i'm gonna just remember the name of the table is tbl employee all right so i'm gonna close it down and as you can see when my page loads for the first time what i would like to do is i call a method called as load data load data what it does it's simply it's nothing but a SQL adapter it fires a query from me and uh, I need to provide a connection and once the query gets fired I fill the data into the data set from an adapter and once the data set is ready I simply bind the data to the grid view right so that's the basic about connection uh, I already have the connection string in my web.config which is named as employee connection string you can have your own database connection but this is how I have uh, you know restructured the grid right so let's have a look how the grid looks like so looking at this this is a pretty normal grid you can see which I have shown you in the database alright so this is a normal grid so what we'll do is looking at the design first we'll highlight the color as blue the header in order to do that we need it an access to grid views row in order to get the access to grid views row Click the design mode, select the grid view, hit F4, and there would be an event called as row data mount. Yes, double click on that, it will generate an event for you. All right, now inside of which we will come and we'll see e dot row dot uh, row type. You search for row type and then you say, Does it equal to header? You say yes. If it is equal to header, then simply apply the CSS. All right and I'll apply the CSS as uh, I'm sorry I have written a CSS for that but it's very basic for header what I did is uh, this is how you write the CSS uh, I mean if you have your own your own defined class which you can start with dot and the name of the CSS and you apply your properties like background color height width anything right now I'm just changing the background so I'll pick this guy up and I'll come in here and I'll simply paste so this is my header is ready now if I run so at this moment I should get a light blue header <coughs> so you can see that was pretty easy right so now the next job is everybody should be gray right in order to make everybody gray I need to go one more time and I need to say if e dot row dot row type is equal to data control dot data row so if it is a data row then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this guy and I have written the CSS for this guy as well which is nothing but a normal background right so copy and simply paste so once we did that let's run right <coughs> now as you can see the data is also in light gray right so as my mouse moves over I want this row to be highlighted right so for that what can I do I need to make a few more changes to my code in order to get this thing going right so what I'll do is <coughs> e then dot row then attributes dot add I'll add an attribute called on mouse over then I'll say comma then I'll say this dot then I'll say style this dot style dot background I'm sorry background right so background and then I'll say color is equal to and I'll say it is it is supposed to be light green okay copy the same thing on mouse out 
one mouse out I want this color to be light gray back again so so let's oh uh, let's run this thing one more time and let's see if we have the correct output and whoops the script break one second continue light green is undefined I think I have missed something one second let me check do you mind stopping I said break stop so basically it generated an event for me one so let's check if this was a mistake I think this was a mistake so let's run this thing again and let's see what it gives you all right so it kind of started working right so this was a basic uh, jquery i mean the javascript code which was written from the code behind wherever i hover i get the difference between the data right so this was pretty easy and pretty basic so if you like my videos then do me a favor go to i mean give me a thumbs up to my videos all right share my videos with your friends if you think this is cool subscribe me for youtube facebook and twitter add your comments and let me know your thoughts if, i mean you guys can request a topic if i have time i'll do it if you're an expert and if you think some improvements need to be done your suggestions are most welcome and there are the whatever i have given over here that could be done in many ways so it depends on your choice and depends on the requirement how you want to do it anyways thank you for watching this video thanks a lot bye bye